my dear brothers and sisters, what a delight to be with you. I'm picturing you all over the world in your individual homes and gatherings. I congratulate you for your faith in pursuing your education as BYU Pathways Worldwide students. I urge you to keep going. I know the Lord wants you to succeed, and so do I. I love a quote by Corey Ten Boom. Every experience God gives us, every person he puts in our lives, is the perfect preparation for the future only he can see. Think about that as I introduce you to Miriam. She was a 10-year-old American girl who was living in Korea with her family where my husband and I were serving a mission. She was the first to stand and share her testimony when I visited her English branch. She said something like this, my parents had this crazy idea to put me and my siblings into regular Korean schools and none of us even know any Korean. On really hard days, I find a quiet place. And I think about my favorite scripture and him. She then quoted both by heart. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And then the hymn. He lives to silence all my fears. He lives to wipe away my tears. He lives to calm my troubled heart. He lives all blessings to impart. I was deeply touched, and I knew Heavenly Father put Miriam in my path that day for a future only he could see. We were in the middle of a difficult time in our mission. Our missionaries felt discouraged. We wanted desperately to help them increase their faith in Jesus Christ. That week, I began inviting them to find one scripture in him they could memorize, the way Miriam did, to strengthen them on difficult days. I promised them that if they would share their scriptures and hymns with me, I would memorize all of them before I die. I typed a stack of cards that contained the scriptures and hymns that each missionary shared with me. As I have memorized them, I have seen the faces of our missionaries, and I remember their faith in Jesus Christ, which continues to strengthen me again and again. I'm quite sure Miriam's parents must have prayerfully considered their decision to put their children in Korean schools. They prepared their children to do this difficult thing by giving them tools like prayer, scriptures, and hymns. Like King Mosiah, they trusted their children to the Lord. Similarly, you and I have been sent here to earth away from the warm familiarity of our Heavenly Father. He sees your future and He knows what you are capable of becoming and wants to help you. You will influence others with your own unique experiences, gifts, and talents. BYU Pathway is a gift and a tool to help you become what Heavenly Father knows you can be. In the same way the scriptures and hymns help Miriam and our missionaries, you have your gathering and people to help you. I would also encourage you to prayerfully ponder whom you can help during your educational journey. I love Ether 6 in the Book of Mormon. Obediently, the Jaredites built barges to sail across the ocean to the Promised Land. The story illustrates their willingness to trust themselves to the Lord. As BYU Pathway students, you are building your own barges to help you progress towards your journey toward the Promised Land. When they were encompassed about by many waters, they did cry unto the Lord, and He did bring them forth again upon the top of the waters. And no monster of the sea could break them, neither whale that could mar them. Do you sometimes feel like this? Trust that He will save you from the monsters of life's challenges that you feel might swallow you up. The scripture in Ether continues, quote, The Jaredites did have light continually, whether it was above the water or under the water. Jesus Christ lit the way for the Jaredites, and if you put your trust in Him, He will light your way too. You will find, as they did, that the wind never did cease to blow towards the promised land. Here's a glimpse of what it might be like for you as you keep going. And when they had set their feet upon the shores of the promised land, they bowed themselves down upon the face of the land, 
and did humble themselves before the Lord and did shed tears of joy before the Lord because of the multitude of his tender mercies over them. My beloved brothers and sisters, I know this journey is not easy. You may feel continuing your education is just too hard, especially right now. But I also know that Heavenly Father knows what He wants you to become and who He needs you to influence and bless. Please trust yourselves to His tender, loving care. Remember He sent His Son to stand by your side and help you finish strong. I add my plea to Elder Jeffrey R. Hollins, who said, Don't you give up. Don't you quit. You keep right on walking. You keep trying. Trust God and believe in good things to come. That is my heartfelt prayer for you, and I offer it humbly and in the name of our beloved Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.